Hey guys, it's Sylvie with my silly little game, and today I am bringing you the 500 pack of orchid origami paper. And as you can see, let me um, put this down so you guys can take a look here. And it brings 500 sheets of high quality folding paper, um, lots and lots of colors. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Very, very nice. It's got your traditional white on one side, color on the other. I love how it comes in so, so many colors, as you can see on the side here. And the reason um, I wanted this set is because... I want to make little dresses that are going to be white with the color background and put those on the invitations. I am going to go ahead and show you how to fold one of these origami sheets into a little dress. All right, guys. Um, so let's open up this package of origami paper. And for today's demonstration, I'll use um, orange. Okay, I did pull out two, so I'm going to put them back. And I absolutely love the great quality of this paper. It's um, sturdy. It's not flimsy. It's also got um, the traditional white on one side and solid color on the other. So... Let's get started. Um, I hope I don't go too fast. If I do, just um, always pause it whenever you need so that uh, you can catch up. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to the white side. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my orange. And I'm going to line it up perfectly so that I have no white showing. And I'm going to go ahead and crease. Then... I'm going to go ahead and rotate it and do the same way, the same thing the other way. So again, crease. So now that gives me a little crisscross shape. You see? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it back over to the white side. And I'm going to do what's called the cabinet fold. And... Basically what that is, is I'm going to take one of these sides and I'm going to bring it into the middle to that, line it up with that middle crease. And once it's perfectly lined up here, you can crease. And we're going to do the same with the other side. We're going to line it up to that middle crease and once it's lined up perfectly, we can crease. Now, what these create are little mountain folds, okay? Each one of these is a mountain fold. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mountain fold. I want to put it so you guys can see. I'm sorry. I want, I'm going to take this mountain fold and I'm going to bring it to meet this middle crease. The best way to do this is I call it pinch, pinching. And what I do is I pinch the mountain like this. And you see how that creates this like fold in here? And then that's like the easiest way to do it. And then I take this finger and I kind of smooth out that, that, I guess, circle. You see the little moon shape down here? And then that's when I go ahead and I align towards the middle. Once that's aligned, I can go ahead and crease. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to pinch, and then I'm going to go ahead and align it. And once it's aligned, I can go ahead and crease. Okay, and that's what that gives me. You see? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over to this side. 
and you see this middle crease right here I want you to go ahead and fold it back and then you're gonna fold this part back up and it's gonna be probably to about let me see you're gonna want it to be probably to about there okay so it's probably like about a half a half an inch yeah I would do about a half an inch and you want to make sure that it's aligned perfectly on both sides and then that gives you that fold there so when you flip it back up this is the top of the dress and this is going to be your skirt okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this out and as you rotate this out you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you don't rotate it all the way out because you don't want to um, cause a tear in the in the paper there and then you're going to gently crease and you're going to do the same on this side rotate it out careful on this side and go ahead and crease and that gives you the nice pleat here for the front of the dress okay so now we're going to flip it back over to the back and what we're going to do next is you see these little corners here we're going to go ahead and do these little triangles in like this and this other one we want the same way we want it to meet and crease so now we just needed to fold those for the creases so go ahead and unfold them back and then what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger in here and pull this back and as you're doing that you're going to see how this whole thing is going to want to come up like this so what you're going to do is you're going to squash the sides here and as you squash the sides you'll see that they meet in the middle like this and then you can go ahead and crease this and that'll give you this nice little diamond shape okay and that's what you're gonna wanna do so now you're gonna take this corner right here and you're gonna make a little triangle like that and so a little orange pops up and you're gonna do the same to this other side Gonna make a little orange triangle on this side and it's gonna look like that okay now next you're gonna take this corner right here and you're gonna bring that in to meet in the middle but you see how when I go to pull it this whole thing wants to come with it see so what you're gonna do is I'm just recreasing this because I don't want these to pop up on me so I'm going to go ahead and just recrease these. Okay. So as this is coming here, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to squash, squash this. And what that does is that makes this angle of the skirt right here. And you can pretty much do it anywhere. So if you want to go ahead and do it like this, so it has a big um, fold, or if you want to make it sleeker, um, I don't want my dress to be that poofy so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and start measuring out to the corner and once I got it at that corner where I like it I'm gonna go ahead and crease okay and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same to this other side so oops fold this in and as I'm folding in I'm gonna go ahead and as I'm folding in right I'm gonna go ahead and squash this bottom here to kind of give me the silhouette that I want on this dress and then I'm gonna go ahead and crease okay so as I flip it over you see how it's got that nice little silhouette here all right so next up are gonna be the sleeves of this little dress and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this these corners up here and you're gonna fold them down 
So you're going to fold them down. And crease. Same with this one. You're going to fold it out. And crease. And that gives you the little sleeves of the dress. And there's your little origami dress. Isn't that cute? So I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those down below and I'll um, answer them as best as I can. If you guys make your own little dress videos, be sure to um, comment in the comment section with your link. I'd love to see those. Or follow me on social media and tag me in your pictures because I'd love to see your little recreations of this little dress. I will also have in the description below the link so you guys can get your own pack of this origami paper from Orchid. Oh, it's coming back. And I'll, I'll also yeah, have... Yeah, kind of fibrous. And then I'll also have all my links for my social media. Thanks again for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.